If I had one day in Paris, here's how I would spend it. Good morning from Paris. Okay, so you got to Paris. It's early in the morning. Well, not really, more like 9 a.m. Most important thing when I travel, I try to do some kind of movement in the morning. I use that app, Mind Body, and I find whatever is available around me. Even if you're gonna do like 20,000 steps, it's still a great way to kick off the day. So, and you know what? It doesn't have to be working out. You don't have to go to a class. You just need to leave the house. Get out of your hotel. Get a croissant. This is it, you guys. This is the studio. The new me reformer Pilates studio. Okay, let's get in. Hey, guys. This is the studio. There. Reformer. You got drinks cute place hello <laughs> very welcoming <laughs> and then i got my socks because i forgot mine at home so this is the choice 30 euros 30 30 euros <laughs> okay i'm gonna go change and there we have boom 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 it's my very first time in this studio i've been to other studios but this is definitely a first for me. Okay, let's change. Basically change for me means... That's it, I'm changed. <laughs> and I gotta put the socks on. 30 euros? All right, ready to go. Okay, you had your walk, you had your croissant, now you can get ready for the day. At least I know I am going to. I'm gonna go change, do a little bit of makeup, and start the day. We're talking about Paris during Fashion Week, which is a whole other Paris, okay? Therefore, we're gonna jump on the horse, and uh, that's going to be the transport. You know? You know. I can't believe I have 2,000 euro boots on this. Wait, did you think I was going to ride it myself? Absolutely not. I mean, I am multitask, but not that multitask. Okay. Wonderful, right next to the toilets. I'm joking, but I'm, I'm, I'm like, the toilets are just right there. Don't expect this to be fancy. You don't have to dress in a particular way. Be a tourist, like be you, okay? And what's great about this place is that the food is always so good. You know what to expect. You're gonna see in a second. Another thing that I love about this restaurant is that it's kids friendly. So if you have kids and Paris in general is a it's a kids friendly uh, city. If you have kids, you could take your kid. They will find place for you. So don't worry about that. Like I told you, appetizer is a salad that has a really amazing dressing, has some walnuts and the dressing is like it has olive oil. It has maybe a little bit of lemon. Dijon mustard, I feel like, and maybe horseradish because it, it has that that spicy feeling. I love this salad. I tried to replicate it at home and it wasn't a success. And listen, this is this is healthy food. So you're starting just like it says in the glucose revolution. If you have read the book, I know a lot of you did. You're starting your meal with veggies. Of course, you have the bread right next to you and it's hard to say no to the baguette tradition this is the 
typical baguette French people buy. So if you if you're coming to Paris, you have to try the baguette tradition. This is exactly it. You know her, like crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, works with everything, but especially a loaf. Now, I don't drink alcohol. I never did. So for me, for me, it will always be a glass of uh, sparkling water. But my husband always recommends the red wine, La Réserve. And here is the main. So you have this amazing meat. I asked to have it done rare. And this sauce and French fries. I mean, what you can't. You can't ask more than this. Like, this is perfection. Again, people try to replicate this sauce. They have the same recipe since I don't know what year. But yeah, people try to replicate the sauce. Nobody ever succeeded. The meat is melting in your mouth. This sauce, mainly butter, mainly butter. Mm. 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 Incredibly good. Please take a look. This is perfection. Two people, no desserts, and you know, not a lot of drinks. That was a quick lunch. I'm telling you, best food. And now I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places to go in the weekends with my family. I take my son there all the time. It's right in the center of Paris. I love to have my coffee there. And that is Jardin du Palais Royal. So let me take you to my favorite spot. I got you to Jardin du Palais Royal. Now, this is a place that I personally love. Like I've mentioned, I love to hang out with my kids. I love to walk. I love to watch people. It's very quiet during the week, but it's super, super crowded in the weekend. Oh, hello. So, we're going to go get some coffee because I haven't had coffee today. So, it's going to be my first one late, I know. And I'll show you the my favorite spot to get uh, coffee here is Café Kitsune. Okay, let's go. Because we're right in the middle of Fashion Week, there are always shows happening in here. So yeah, right now it's all covered. Yeah, it wouldn't be Paris if there wouldn't be constructions happening here. And at number thirty-one, this is Gabriel Jeper. I think this is the best place to get pre-owned Hermes bags. If you love Manolo, they have a store right here. You find plenty of things to watch, such as small galleries or shops, or there is um, this place, I think it's a hair salon. The design of that hair studio is just so beautiful. And things are always changing in here, like you never know what you're going to find out. Babe, did you see that the Magnolia is in Broome? So pretty. This is one vintage store that's so beautiful. It has great selection. I love vintage stores. So if I had a one day in Paris, I would definitely like that would be my interest. Now it's up to you, but yeah, I would definitely check out the store. But first coffee, huh? Let's have the coffee. Let's have the coffee. And there we have favorite place for coffee in the first arrondissement, Café Kitsune. I'm going to get a cappuccino without milk. What do you want? Bonjour. Je prends, s'il vous plaît, un cappuccino avec du lait d'avoine importé et un, un cappuccino normal. This is the place to chill. I mean, there is a little bit of construction happening right now, but normally this is so quiet. 
It's great if you want to come, grab a book, grab a snack, get your coffee, sit on one of the chairs. In summer, this is gorgeous. Imagine all the trees are green, the sun is shining. It's just gorgeous. And in my opinion, this is like the best place to take pictures. Because, you know, if you've been to Paris and you haven't taken pictures and posted them on Instagram, have you even been to Paris? You know, you're coming to Paris, you might as well do like the Parisians do, like just chill, relax, enjoy good coffee. I've just been inside Gabriel Jepper. Unfortunately, I cannot film inside, but you have to trust me. The selection is really amazing. If you want to get a new Chanel bag, this is the place you want to come. She used to have the absolute best selection, Hermes bags. She just said that it was too much of a hustle. She had to have someone that would keep an eye on everything day and night. So to say in her words, she said, I want to sleep well at night. And having Hermes bags, she just couldn't. But really great selection. I loved it. Like I mentioned earlier, this is another really great vintage store, Didier Ludo. But again, you cannot film inside. Now, let me show you, I think, the most Instagrammable, well, not the most, but one of the most Instagrammable places here. Now it's kind of like under construction because there is a show happening, but let me take you to the columns. the line at Cédric Grelet. I, I cannot. I cannot. This line is absurd. And you know, we, we often get sweets from Cédric uh, Grelet, but we order online and then we just go and pick up. And usually the line is not as bad. This is Place Vendôme and that is Ritz. Okay? That's where all the big celebrities usually stay. That's why you see all those people outside. Everybody's waiting to see someone that they know. Place Vendôme is the place for jewelry only. So this is where kings and queens used to come to buy their crowns. Well, to have their crowns made. Shout out to Ilham who did my hair today in like less than 10 minutes. And I've been putting this helmet on taking it off, putting it on for like, I don't know, 12 times. And look at my hair, just look. I mean, thank you, Ilham. Thank you, you're the best. The line is not that bad. I mean, it's bad, but not like crazy bad. Are you excited to be here? And what is that amazing smell? Chocolate. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Wait, let's put this here. You guys ready? Are you ready to taste the chocolate? I know I am. It's so rich. It's very sweet. I, I don't remember it being as sweet. I think every sip of this is like 60 calories at least. It's really good. And this is Millefeuille. It's really good. It's 
really, really good. Can I take a bite? Can I have a little bite from yours? Okay, because it's yours, you take the first. Great choice. I like them both. Which one do you like more? This is less sweet than this. The chocolate though, oof. Okay, we've probably been in line for like max 10 minutes, I would say. Look at the line now. I would say between four and five is the busiest because obviously you want to, you know, you want to have something sweet around like 5 p.m. or yeah, around that time. So I knew that. That's why we came a little bit earlier. It's all about timings in Paris. Okay, guys, notice how I have absolutely no bag. That's not about to change. <laughs> But let me just try my luck. Okay, we need to stop filming right now, else they might not even talk to us. <laughs> okay guys, this is Les Marais. This is a neighborhood that I would suggest you to hang out because it's just full of really cool boutiques, cool people, like everyone is dressed so nice and you find a lot of stores for example if you want to get like a little gift for someone here in this area right next to italy there are some of the stores that i always like to get in and they have just random stuff that i just love to watch and sometimes if i need to get a gift like something small and not crazy expensive i would come here but this is a great area to just walk not far from here you have Place de Vosges, which is great for galleries. Now, you have to understand there is a reason why I didn't take you to any museums, although Paris is well known to have like amazing museums. You would need half a day just for that. I obviously would recommend you to go to Louvre or Musée d'Orsay or Fondation Louis Vuitton or Pinot Collection. All of them are amazing. You can, if you have the time and if you really want to see a museum that's not too big and it's literally in the center of Paris you could go to Musée de l'Orangerie it's small it doesn't take you a long time to get there now Alex and I we've been there many times okay so that would be the only one that I would suggest you for you know just a day in Paris but Paris you know it's a, it's a walking city it's it is more about enjoying being here just taking it all in, enjoying ice cream, enjoy coffee, staying in a, in a cafe. That's what I would do if I had one day only. Now let me take it to the store that I always like to get in. This is the store and actually there are three. There is one here, one there, there. And there is another one right next to it. It's just like cool stuff inside. Unfortunately, I won't be able to talk inside because there you have, they have music, so YouTube would not allow that. However, I'm going to film everything. I mean, do you have anyone that is crazy about origami? Because you have a lot of them here. Look at that. Raincoats, you absolutely need one in Paris. This is cool. I'm tempted to buy this for myself. I used to love these when I was a kid. Everyone had them except my parents. They didn't love them. They were so popular in the 90s. I love you, but in French. Okay, it's dinner time and by far the place that I recommend in Paris is Langosteria. This is in Cheval Blanc Hotel and I think it's one of the most recent hotels. I mean this hotel exists since forever but they've recently renovated the hotel. It's beautiful, it's very modern, 
nothing like what you would normally find in Paris in terms of like prestige hotels. And at the seventh floor, you have Langosteria, the best seafood, amazing pasta, great ambiance. For two people, like a romantic dinner, it's perfect. But also, every time I get there, I see a lot of group of women, like, you know, girlfriends having fun. Because it's more on the expensive side, I would definitely recommend you to go there, you know, for a special occasion. And Paris is always a special occasion. Okay. This is very special for me and Alex, my husband, who's filming right now because it's his birthday. So this is extra special for us to recommend a restaurant that has good seafood. We love seafood and that has a really nice atmosphere that's romantic, but you know, not too pretentious, but a little bit pretentious. And it's in a beautiful location Then I would definitely recommend you Langosteria. You have Langosteria in Milano, you have in different places, but I think this is just... You see the hand? I'm becoming Italian. I know, Italian res restaurant in Paris. Why not? They have amazing food. French for lunch, Italian for dinner. There. Happy birthday. You're so handsome. And this was everything that I recommend you to do in Paris. It's late and I am so tired. If you're coming to Paris to rest, don't come. You're going to leave more tired than you came. But you know what? If you're going to come for one day, don't try to do like everything. Because it's really hard. Okay, taxi's here. Let's go home. Hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog. I don't know how long this will be, but I hope it was pleasant for you to watch. I love the city so much. It gave me so much. It gave me the life that we have, so many opportunities. I basically started a new life. I was reborn in Paris. Will I live here forever? I don't know. But it's definitely a very, very special place. I'm tired, and when I'm tired, I tend to talk a lot more than I have to. <laughs> if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel to learn about makeup in Paris. And follow me on Instagram to see more of makeup in Paris. <laughs> Bisous! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After a while, you only sing kids' songs. Now I know the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Wash your hands with me to make them nice and clean. Let's spread our hands. Get them so. Wash your hands with me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Rub it up. I kind of enjoy this.